My name is Olivia King. I'm in grade four at St. Mary's. Today, I have chosen to talk about my role model. He was clever and was not afraid to stand up for himself. Now, this sounds suspiciously like Nelson Mandela. Well, firstly, he didn't go to jail. And secondly, he wasn't South African. So he can't be Nelson Mandela. Here are some clues to help you figure out who I'm going to be talking about today. He is reputed to be the smartest person the world has ever known. He was quite eccentric. And never wore socks. His discoveries led to the making of the first atomic bomb. Any guesses? Anyone? Albert Einstein was born in Germany in 1879 on the 14th of March. He was the first child of two and his parents' names were Hermann and Pauline Einstein. They both had a gift. I am now going to tell you some lesser known facts about this famous scientist. As I said, he was a very unusual lad and only started talking when he was about five years old. But even then, he would mumble sentences before actually saying them out loud. We were all very young when we started primary school. Well, Albert was nine. Now that's all to start school. Of course, he was put into a high grade and was a very bright student. The first school he went to was called Catholic Elementary and Secondary School, which was based in Munich, Germany. At the age of 12, he discovered geometry, which, if you don't know, is the study of points, lines and surfaces. At the age of 16, he discovered and mastered calculus, which I believe is quite hard to explain. He hated school, and just as he was about to leave, without hurting his chances to enter the university a few years later, he was expelled because of his bad attitude. He didn't actually have a bad attitude. He was just bored and his teachers were nasty. Einstein tried to enter the Federal Institute of Technology which was based in Zurich, Switzerland. He failed the entry exam because his knowledge of other subjects besides mathematics was not good enough. There he came to realise he was better suited and more interested in physics and science than mathematics. In his spare time, he played the same musical instruments I do, piano and violin. He also loved sailing, even though he wasn't very good at it. Interestingly, he was offered the position to become the president of Israel, which he declined. In 1914, he moved to America and became an American citizen. A few years later, he moved back to Germany to become a professor. When World War II started, Hitler put a prize on Albert's life, rewarding £3,500 to anyone who found and killed him. As you know, Albert was Jewish and German, so he had to be protected by armed bodyguards. So, apart from this interesting history, why did I choose this truly wonderful person as my role model? There are two qualities I admire most. Firstly, he was persistent. If something didn't work, he wouldn't just give up but then find another solution to the problem. This personality trait led him to discover the most famous equation in the world. E equals mc squared, which means 
Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. This sum helped him make his biggest contribution to science. After publishing four theoretical papers, he became the most famous person in the world at that time. He traveled to many different countries to give speeches about physics and science. Secondly, I love his personality because in spite of all his achievements, he always remained such a humble man. He also stood up for other people. He once famously said, I have no special talent. I'm only passionately curious. In conclusion, I am going to share two of his other famous quotes. Imagination is more important than knowledge and creativity is intelligence having fun. I hope you feel inspired to keep dreaming and asking questions. Who knows, one day you may make make a groundbreaking discovery of your own. Thank you. The perfect cup of cocoa by Barbara Bond. The perfect cup of cocoa is rich and chocolatey and always warm, but not too hot, a steaming chocolate sea. The surface is enclosed beneath a thick marshmallow mound which melts into a gooey cloud without the slightest sound. A whipped cream swirl extends beyond the surface of the cup and chocolate sprinkles add the perfect touch to dress it up. The perfect cup of cocoa is like an old best friend. It's warm, it's sweet, it's such a treat and yummy till the end. My doggy ate my essay. He picked up all the mail. He cleaned my dirty closet and dusted with his tail. He straightened out my posters and swept my wooden floor. My parents almost fainted when he fixed my bedroom door. I did not try to stop him. He made my windows shine. My room looked like a palace. And my dresser smelled like a pine. He fluffed up every pillow and folded all my clothes. He even cleaned my fish tank with a toothbrush and a hose. I thought it was amazing to see him use a broom. I'm glad he ate my essay on how to clean my room. 
Heute, today I will be doing Ich wird dir Belinda Brasnow. Da es vier Kies in uns stehen, warte es Licht in einem Brain. Halle Flieg auf die Dach von die Kakelaar in uns Dödrappels auf Akkeblar. Mama, se Hallar, is een baie skaam. Mij betie blij loer na die venster aan. As jy een vierkie wil sien, moet jy kan wag, al word dit later donker nacht. Lijk my Hallar is skaartse waar, maar ek weet Hallar is daar. As my betie so na die venster staar, het hy verseker een vierkie gewaar. The perfect cup of cocoa. The perfect cup of cocoa. It's rich and chocolatey and always warm but not too hot and steaming chocolatey. The surface enclosed beneath the thick marshmallow mound, which melts into a gooey crust without the slightest sound. A whipped cream swirl extends beyond the surface of the cup and chocolate sprinkles add the perfect touch to dress it up. The perfect cup of cocoa. It's like an old best friend. It's sweet. It's such a treat and yummy till the end. Never been a moment you were forgotten. You are not hopeless. Though you have been broken, your innocence stolen. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your so wish your so. Good day. Today I will be doing The Perfect Cup of Cocoa by Barbara Barnes. The perfect cup of cocoa is rich and chocolatey and always warm, but not too hot, a steaming chocolate sea. The surface is enclosed beneath a thick marshmallow mound, which melts into a gooey cloud without the slightest. A whipped cream swirl extends beyond the surface of the cup and chocolate sprinkles add the perfect touch to dress it up. The perfect cup of cocoa is like an old best friend. It's warm, it's sweet, it's such a treat and yummy till the end. <laughs> 